Hey, Richard from Digital Foundry here with some gameplay testing of Rise on PC across a trio of different graphics cards, each running on an Intel Core i7 3770K system overclocked to 4.3 GHz. Here we're targeting a locked 1080p resolution at maximum settings, with the aim being to hit a consistent 60fps. Now you might be wondering why we're running with VSync here, after all this limits top end performance of the GPU. Well, around 95% of gaming systems run on 1080p screens, and we'd wager that the vast majority of those will be 60Hz displays. Sure, you can run the game faster, but the ensuing festival of screen tear won't be pretty, and in a game like Rise, controller response is just fine with a pegged 60fps frame rate. We've chosen our GPUs wisely here. The Radeon R9 280 is on clearance at the moment. In the UK, you can buy one from Amazon for just £130. That's effectively the cheapest 3GB enthusiast GPU on the market right now, and for Rise to utilise its highest possible texture setting, it really needs that 3 gigs. Next up, the Radeon R9 290. Prices are coming down on this one too, thanks to the release of the stunning GTX 970. And finally, we have the GTX 980, the fastest single chip GPU on the planet. Surely this behemoth can give us a sustained 60 FPS from start to finish. Well, at 1080p, for the most part, it looks like an R9 290 level card will do just fine. But there's some areas where it still drops frames. We'd recommend using the internal scaler to run at 90% resolution or adjust shadow or particle settings to claw back some performance if that's an issue for you. The cheaper R9 280 does well, bearing in mind it's so cheap these days, mostly handing in a 40 to 50 FPS experience. To be honest, the inconsistent refresh really hurts the presentation at this point, so we'd turn on Ryze's 30 FPS limiter in order to ensure more consistent performance. If that's not acceptable, once again the inbuilt upscaler, shadow and particle settings can do wonders to get you hitting that magic 60 FPS target. And the impact to image quality isn't actually that pronounced. Of course, it's the GTX 980 that hands in the best overall performance level, sticking most doggedly to the 60fps target, but it's interesting to note that Campaign Level 4's forest stages appear to hit the hardware significantly, to the point where frame rates here occasionally dip below the performance level set by the R9 290. We actually tried this multiple times across two different PCs with the same result. Perhaps Nvidia will release an optimised driver to resolve this. Rise is actually a rather scalable game. The normal preset, one notch down from high, still retains a lot of detail, and in combination with a 30fps limiter, we've even had this running well on a 2GB GTX 750Ti, and even a Radeon HD 7770. Though there, its 1GB of GDDR5 memory clearly has issues containing the game's art, which can impact quality hard. Crytek recommends a 3 gig card for its very high quality texture preset, but in truth we struggle to tell much of a difference between high and very high quality settings here, meaning that those with 2 gig GPUs are still in for a visual treat. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.